everybody. Thank you for coming to another detailing video with the homie Eddie. How you doing today, Eddie? I'm doing good, right? How about yourself? I'm doing all right. So, in this video, you're gonna see his trailer setup. We're gonna ask him a couple questions about what he has, how much he invested, and some tips and advice for people looking for the same thing. You ready, Eddie? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Eddie. What's up with the trailer, man? Tell me about it. It's a little six by 10 trailer, single axle. Um, How I long have you had it? I had it for about a year now. A year? Yeah. How do you like it? How do you feel about it? It's good, I love it, man. It's the best investment I could have done, you know, within a year. So now we, uh, we're trying to expand and grow from now on. So let me ask you, do you wish you would have went bigger or a different model or you like this one? You know what, for what I need it for, and then uh, I did my research, and uh, for what I was gonna put in it, I think it was a good, decent trailer. I don't want nothing too big or too small. I think this was just right, and then uh, I got everything I needed in there, so we're gonna rock from it. Got you now. Where on the street is, you have to sell a couple of your own cars to really jump, because for five years, you were doing it from home, right? Yes, sir, I was doing it from home. Uh, and that was good, you know. I did a part time, did that for a while, got built on my clientele, and uh, now my clientele, all my return customers, now I go to their house and do their car. So, what made you be mobile? Why not uh, stick with the home setup? I love the home setup, but it was the exposure, the exposure I was gonna get out there to meet new clients, mm -hmm. and sometimes my clients couldn't come to me on certain days, so I had to go to them got and it. get them going. Yep. All right. So. What equipment are we rocking with? Let's start from the back over here. Right. So you got some lights in here? Yeah, so I got the lights. I did the whole trailer lights. You fancy, um, Eddie. Oh, you know how we do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I got all the Cox reels. I did all, you know, I like to be uh, color coordinated. So, so the setup, you did it. You had somebody do it. Yeah, I had uh, some guy from LA do it. H2O? Uh, no, no, not H2O. I had a Streamline. Oh, okay, okay. Do my setup, and I had some ideas, and then he put some together, and I had some other ideas that he put together. So, I mean, we both came up with the with the whole uh, idea of you know getting Got the it. trailer set up. Was it expensive? Uh, it was a pretty penny. It was a pretty uh, okay. man. It was about a couple thousand dollars for the basic equipment, but yeah. uh, we added more equipment, you know. So, I mean. We just had to upgrade it, different reels, different vacuums. What about the trailer? How much did that cost? So the trailer was 7,000. And oh. then this was the only red one they had left. So they had kind of marked it up a little bit, but it's all good. You know, we, we had to match the truck, so we had to pay. Got you. Now, is there any piece of equipment you're missing or that you're looking to get soon? So uh, I recently bought a carpet extractor. I had another extractor, but it wasn't, you know, now I got a Mighty 8070 light and I keep that at the house. And if mm. I get a client that's gonna want a carpet extraction, then I'll pull that baby out. All right, sounds good. And I see right here, you got your essentials. The, what is that? So we have the Predator 3500 mm. uh, generator. Then we have our 2700 pressure washer and then we have our um, cox reel with our 50 foot hose and our electric 50 foot hose we have our air compressor in the back our vacuum prolux vacuum all right what do you got on the side so on the side we have the water tank in the back we have the gallon racks we have our basic steamer check it out we got our polisher polishing pads tornator extra gas Look at this room right here. Oh, yeah. You can sleep in here if you, you have can, to, yeah, exactly, yes. Hey, <laughs> sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. That's right, man, that's right. We'll travel the country. So, for people that don't know, what's the biggest struggle with a trailer like this? The biggest struggle is space, trying mm -hmm. to get into tight places. And uh, I mean, if you can drive, you can get it in there. But I mean, if you can't drive with the trailer, it's kind of hard, it takes practice. But I mean, that's why I got the trailer towing and uh, in my truck, so we can trailer steer it however we want to. Got you. I know, because we went to McDonald's, bro. You took up like two parking spots, oh, three parking yeah. spots. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you have to. We got, you know, but people respect it, though. Yeah. So, wait, what happens when you go to a location and there's no room? Has that ever happened? It's, it's happened before where we uh, don't have a lot of room, but 
Uh, sometimes we just tell the customer if they can pull the car forward mm. or, you know, kind of move it to the side of the street or, um, but we, we find a way to, to get it going. All right, Eddie. So let's say if you could go back when you, before you got this, would you do anything different? Would you get anything different? Would you? I mean, I've, I never experienced to having a van yeah. and I, I don't, maybe it would be more convenient for tighter places, but mm. Here in the valley, we you know we we have a lot of residential homes, but if I were to live out in the Bay Area or LA area where it's smaller, compacted, then I would get a van. Yeah. Okay. Now, what's some advice you have for somebody who's detailing from home and they want to be mobile? You know, any advice for them? Mm, I would just say. Uh, do your research yeah. and do your research on if you want your trailer or if you want a van, what's more convenient, what's more budget friendly. Mm -hmm. You know, you just, it, it takes capital. Yeah. So, I mean, sometimes you gotta save up, sell things just to invest in your company and to grow because if not, I mean, you can't make all this profit in your business and not, not put it back into it. So, I mean, it reflects on what you have. All right, guys, there you go. That's his detailing setup. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think about it. Would you guys get a trailer or one of those cargo vans? Let us know. But, Eddie, let's say someone wants to follow you. Maybe get a detail over here in the Atwater area and surrounding areas. Where can they go? You go on my IG, CV underscore details, and you can follow me there. Cool. I'll put it in the description below. And if you like this detailing content, you want to see more press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everybody.